The fitness industry bubble is a very weird bubble. While the golden era wasn't perfect, it was a simpler time. These days, it's not even about the workout, but how you look during the workout. This is like the gym equivalent of being circumcised. Whoa, that's on my hand. Oh, he has something to prove with that one. Oh. I am so nervous right now, holy shit. Oh. Today we're going over the worst fitness trends. Breakfast today, I'm going to Denny's and I've never been to Denny's in my life and I'm not sure if this is a milestone to be celebrating. The first trend that we're gonna talk about today is intuitive eating. So it's a lot like friends with benefits because on paper the concept is great but poor execution usually leads to things blowing up in your face or in this case, your waistline blowing up. So people who say they're intuitive eating, they're usually just frustrated with tracking macros and they have no diet identity. It's just something that they are doing in the meantime. And a lot of people can't really distinguish need versus want because what if you want to need something? Definitely not the best looking twins I've woken up to, but I've always said taste first and then question later. So I got the hollandaise sauce on the side, so I'm in full control of what I'm putting into my body. So right now my hunger, my hunger cues are around the six out of ten. Let me see. Oh, the poor is updating the cues. The poor is updating the cues. It's about a seven out of ten now. We're going all in. We're gonna go all in here. All right, so classic Benny taste test. I'm kind of triggered it's not called the classic Denny, but off the bat, coffee is fire here. Uh, given my history with Denny's, I can't imagine this tasting bad. Nice and runny yolk. Hard to get right at a chain place. Okay. That sauce is decadent, man. These hash browns, I love a shredded hash brown. It inspires me to get shredded myself. Oily in a good way, not too oily. I dig it, Denny's. Eight out of 10. Can I get a to-go thing? My stomach's just like it's done, you know? Had about 50% of it. My body's just like, it's time to stop, you know? So we're gonna take it to go and have it later. Yo, Will, you ready to go? Something doesn't feel quite right. I need something with more breathability. Business up top, party down low. Much better. What do you think, OP? Let's see this. Oh, did you really? You actually. Pre-workout time. Now you would think that everybody in the fitness industry has the same schedule as Elon Musk because we don't have the time to take our scooper put it into the shaker, shake it up, and actually sip our pre-workout, we have to dry scoop it. So not only is that stupid, but it's a choking hazard. It's more of a choking hazard than trying to bench 315 without a warm-up. So I have not done this before in my life uh, for obvious reasons. Here we go. Oh! A lot of people do this. Is this like a status symbol or something? I don't get it. My favorite part of the day is sipping pre-workout, going to the gym with music. It's making my eyes water right now. It's making my eyes water. I might go for two scoops because in the fitness industry, you gotta be caffeinated, you know what I mean? It's the gym bro equivalent to getting white girl wasted. <sighs> Let's go train. I wasn't recording, I have to do that again. Feeling like absolute trash from doing those dry scoops, but we're at the gym right now, and the next trend we're gonna talk about is wearing a flannel to the gym. Like, are you mistaking the cowbell for the barbell? I don't get this one, but I see it literally all the time. Like, it, it's just like crazy to me. Like, what's next? Wearing onesies to a funeral? Do you think they have a mechanical bowl here? I'm trying to find out what I'm gonna do for my workout today, because for many people, they do a workout to look like a celebrity or a certain superhero like Batman, Thor, or whatever without considering the resources that these guys have access to, like Chris Hemsworth, like from the kitchen, to the gym, to the pharmacy, they have literally everything laid out for them. So it's not really a relatable thing to do, but still people do all these crazy things, like putting on 30 pounds of muscle, 
in one month. I had an assistant whose only job was to bring me food. It was like a conveyor belt of smoothies and protein. A conveyor belt of smoothies and protein, but I feel like he's forgetting something, but who hasn't forgotten having a cocktail or two, even the anabolic kind? The first exercise we are gonna do today is what Alan Richardson did for Jack Reacher to blow up his arms like crazy. So we're gonna do a superset here, tricep push down, superset with rope hammer curls, four sets of 25 reps, and I don't know about you, but to me, 25 reps is gear in Spanish. Like that is just absolutely nonsense. I don't, I don't believe it for a second. Oh. It's getting hot in here, it's only one set. I feel like he's mistaking what he did to pump up for a scene rather than what he actually did to build the muscle for the scene, if you know what I mean. My plan was starting to stretch with this magic bicep workout. Arm superset one done, time to take off the flannel and reveal my male crop top, which is the worst trend since Crocs, but at least Crocs know that they're a meme, you know what I mean? This is like the gym equivalent of being circumcised. Like, is this to show off my lower abs or my treasure trail? I'm not sure. And it's actually an instantly bannable offense if you have an Audi belly button. If you're lucky enough to get access to a bench before the high school entourage shows up, of course we have to max out because people take their bench press numbers very, very seriously. They think a school will take that over their GPA. So I'm gonna try to max out right now. No spotters, because I don't wanna live with any failures. The looks I'm getting in the gym right now, kind of weird. I feel like the male crop top is only allowed if like you're like sub 8% body fat, because I'm standing like this. I got a little bit of, I got some stuff hanging over, especially when you sit down. So I feel like this is like, if you're shredded, but obviously you do you if you want to. I think I might need to get the protractor out for my back arc. I need to, like, I need to eliminate the, the range of motion as much as possible for the most amount of weight, right? Uh, I think that's how it works, but I'm not too sure. Chest is done. It's getting hot in here, or is it just me? Oh my God. There has been this big focus on functional strength over actual strength. Like who cares about strength situations in the outside world? Gym strength is the only thing that actually matters, in my opinion. Like who cares if there's no hammer curl machines in the outside world? Because to me, the gym is the real world and the only world. This is a car I'm about to go off a cliff. Hypertrophy achieved, zero. Now, I don't know about you guys, but would you rather look like you could save a kitten stuck underneath a boulder or actually be able to do it? I'd rather look it. The next trend is TikTok reels. Now, these look like horror movie excerpts because they look like an exorcism. Like, are we supposed to be following these things or are they self-parodying PSAs? These TikTok reels are usually done in pairs with somebody who's pretty much the same person as you because they are so synchronized. The difference between TikTok fitness and YouTube fitness is YouTube fitness teaches you how to break a plateau. This provides you a plateau. I'm probably gonna be wondering why tomorrow I broke it on my forehead because I'm freaking drenched in sweat. But the next trend is the obsession with fitness trackers. You have some people wearing multiple at a time looking like anabolic rappers. We might have different time zones, but we only have one heart rate. These trackers alert us for everything that we do. Our stress levels, how we sleep, the calories that we burn, our elevated heart rates. It even reminds us to breathe. One of the downsides of these things is that they're just another extension of our phone, reinsuring that mind phone connection instead of the mind muscle connection. I only ever actually use these things for my steps. Calories burned? No, leave that manipulation to me. I gotta get this thing off my head.
For lunch today, we are at a place called Kale Me Crazy. They're making fun of me before I made the purchase, calling me crazy for spending $20 on this, which leads me to the next trend, overly priced salad and Power Bowl bars. Like, $20 for this, it looks like leftover rabbit food. I went with the vegan option because veganism is the best. The taste is there, but I'm mostly tasting the sensation that I'm gonna be catabolic and hungry in a few hours. The next trend that we're gonna talk about is everybody thinks that they have the right way of doing things, you know? When it comes to diets, it creates I, anabolic I war. Everybody thinks that, that their think way that is the right way and people start to shame other people for doing something different. I know it's very, very hard to believe, but people can have their own opinions and what works for you might not work for me. Everything has their ups and downs and their place, just always bodybuilding over CrossFit. The ideal male physique these days is essentially a jacked naked mole rat because these guys are absolutely hairless. They have a jaws or size, get the perfect jawline. It's pretty much a beauty pageant. And instead of the women, it's the guys now that are embarrassed that they forgot to shave their legs before the big date. I am not the hairiest of guys, as a lot of you guys know, but I do have a lot of armpit hair. So we're gonna go right now and get my armpits waxed, which is gonna be absolutely brutal. I am so nervous right now, holy shit. This is my first time doing this. Oh yeah. On a scale of one to ten, how painful? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it usually means ten. Excuse me, why are you shooting? Do you have a lot of bodybuilders that come in? Yeah. Kofi, you might have to pin me down. I know you're good at that. Do you like a belt I can bite on? What's your opinions on guys with body hair? Hey. Is this a painful one, would you say? Hey. <laughs> yeah. You're laughing. That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah. No. No. No? No. I want to be screaming like a girl. No. No. <laughs> no. I feel like I'm at the top of the roller coaster, about to go down. Sorry. Blitz me, Amanda. Holy. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Wow. It's a forest on there. How's it look, Kofi? Smooth. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You have something to prove with that one. Ow. Oh. Mmm. Wow. I was not. I, I thought I was gonna come off all at once. I wasn't expecting no, to repeat no, no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> well, that's on my hand. Oh, no warning. Oh. Oh. How long does this last? Sorry. <laughs> oh, is it? I'm used to it. I have a whole new appreciation for women. Oh. Oh. Sorry, it's all good. good. Sorry. Thank you so much. You <laughs> There you go. Oh! That was as painful as I thought it was going to be. Never again. Never again. Okay, I'll come yeah. and see you. But just, just to like chill and have a coffee or something, but not. The, the next time is more better. Is it? Yeah. It's such a smooth entry with my shirt. What? I'm cold. This is so weird. Oh my god. I've heard it's really good for your BO, and that's why a lot of guys do it. So, I mean, I've done it once. I might be down the rabbit hole. It's like a tattoo. You get one, you have a sleeve, and it's maybe completely bare. Bald. What or what else are you going to wax? You wish. We are at Target right now, about to do a grocery haul or a anabolic grocery haul because everything has to be anabolic. We don't really worry about how much more we can live, it's how much more we can eat. We trade vitamins and minerals for chemicals and food dye. A diet that I imagine an oopa loompa to eat. The first thing is excessive fiber protein bars. It's like you eat a sausage and you start shitting out a bunch of pepperonis, you have one of these and somehow you shit out 10. Like in this one bar, 200 calories, there's 14 grams of fiber. Like does fiber mean protein in Italian, Kofi? Because how could that be the main ingredient? I'm not too sure, man. Like, what the hell are these? Like, reading the back of the nutrition label looks like it would be my scores at a dunk contest. Zeros across the board. You know it's bad when it feels and smells like the plastic wrap. Like, when the actual food is the exact same thing, you gotta be kind of at question here, but on the bright side, it's only 50 calories a slice and three grams of protein. Ingredients. 
maple syrup. Uh, ingredients. What the f Okay. Instead of Yeezys or Supreme, the fitness hype beast is always on the lookout for the newest monster flavor drop. In 2022, the kill count is still the number that matters most, but instead it's referring to the amount of energy drinks that you slam and not sorority pledges. I still can't get over how weird my armpits feel in the shirt right now, but those are the only trends that I can think of. If I'm missing anything, let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more crazy ones to come for a part two. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.